I can tell it's a her. She's got a cute little bottom. Only the girls have cute little bottoms. And when he, when she gets threatened, she'll pull her head back inside her carapace, right in there, put your feet in, right inside there, and you can see no predators can actually get at her. Because there's civets and other mammals that would certainly eat this tortoise. But if she tucks all everything up inside there, back inside there, they can't get in, you know, chomp, 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 and she's impenetrable. It's really cool when you take your house with you. Well, we'll put her back in her leaf litter so she can carry on the day's work. See this girl here. Look how distended she is in the belly. And she's moving really slowly. Her labia is really swollen, distended. She's so pregnant, she's going to give birth. Maybe within hours, but certainly within days. And she's in these lower limbs. And I reckon she might be feeling a little bit sick. Come on, sweetheart. Here she comes, here she comes. Hey, girl. You want something? I got something for her. Hang on a minute, I've got something. Hey, sweetheart. She's a little bit pregnant, this girl. There's a randy tan. Have a look at her tummy. See how distended she is there? She's got a big, full tummy. And she's very swollen down there. She's only hours away, I reckon. Oh, you want another one, sweetheart? There you go. Yummy rambutans with a pregnant mama. Her breasts are starting to enlarge. Woo! This is it, hey? Pregnant. She's probably feeling a little bit crook, just a little bit off colour. But her eyes are very bright. She's just a bit tired and slow. Really slow moving. And she won't be eating too much. This is just a bit of a treat for her. Look at you, girl. Isn't she just dull? Absolutely dull. Look at her big, big tummy. Oh, how's that? How's that? I can feel the little baby moving in her tummy. It's rattling around. You got it rattling around in there. Is this your first baby? It's confusing when it's your first baby, isn't it? She's like, I'm a little bit sick. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, then, mate. I can't quite see them as good as that. I think I got it. Here comes the little seed. Spit it out there, the girl. Orangs make the best mothers. They just make the best. Where are you going to have your little baby? It's amazing how out here in the wilderness you just give birth in the trees, and it all comes instinctively to you. However, this female was unknowingly educated by her mother on how to raise an infant, how to raise a juvenile, and perhaps even saw the processes of mating, the rituals, the combat, the big plate heads, everything that goes with it. I'm going to get her some more rambutans because she's loving them. Why do you, sweetheart? Orangutans mate facing each other, making them unique in the animal kingdom. Yes, yeah, sweetheart. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, girl. Have a look at you. Because they bear children only once every seven years, such a slow reproduction rate makes them even more vulnerable as a species. 
They're just like a human in that they give birth and they're ready to breastfeed straight away. See that nipple there? So the first load of milk that the baby gets will be loaded with great protein and have antibodies in it. Well, uh, that's my cue to get down out of this bamboo. Not quite as graceful as an orang. What an awesome experience. Hey, <laughs> I'm nowhere near as good as the orangs. Check this out. Well, sliced my way. <laughs> I sliced my leg well and truly right open. Who cares? I've just spent time with a pregnant orangutan. Woo-hoo! Yahoo, baby's rule. Talk about pain. We suffered an incredible heart-wrenching pain when we got the news that this beautiful mama and her baby died not long after we left. How sad. The Sumatran jungles and Steve are always full of surprises. It seems everything in the Sumatran jungle is quite large. We've got the largest arboreal mammal and the largest terrestrial mammal. The orangs and the elephants and these giant ants. And if they get hold of your leg, they'll tear it right off. <laughs> Not at all, as you can see. He's not interested in biting me, he's just interested in searching, looking, hunting. Where's my ant trail gone? I tell you what though, whoa, I wouldn't like to take a bite from him, I reckon he'd pack a fair sort of a wallop. Well, back to the ant trail, mate. Up and down. It's not real good for me, but it's great for the orangs. Because they're tree dwellers, they're arboreal, swing through the trees. Crikey, I wish I could. Steve's heard movement in the rainforest canopy, and it doesn't sound like orangutans, something much smaller. Hey, oh. check this out. Hey, mate. This is a macaque. Now, these wild little devils, here you go. They got teeth, mate. I tell you what, they've got teeth. These macaques are quite common in the jungles. You see them all the time, but it's just a fleeting glimpse. And they love their tucker. You do this. I think. You're a little beauty. Are you gonna eat that? He stuck it in his pouch. They've got like a, a mouth pouch where they stash their food. He's a little boy one too, you can tell that. And he's a naughty little boy one. So he's doing that. Look at my haircut thing. And this bloke's probably the leader of the troop. If not, he's gonna grow up to be, because he's got a wild attitude. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. They're grumpy little things, these macaques. And this is like a part of the troop. And here's the other part up here. You can see him in the trees. There's a couple of little babies up high, two mamas, and there's a big, big male there. Ah, showing me his teeth. They're aggressive little terrorists, I tell you what. The macaques, really common, and they come right in on top of people, no problem at all. In fact, they love habitated areas because uh, there's always food, raiding the banana trees, raiding the crops and the plantations. Have a look at this guy here. How's the teeth on it? Oh, there you go. Yeah. That's shutting up. I just can't make my hair go back like that. 